Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. That was Tabby Boy. Well, today I am doing a video that I was not planning on doing, but I am going to... I'm making this because this is really an important issue. If you are following the news at all, you might know that there was a military plane that left Guantanamo Bay with a bunch of military personnel and their families. And there was a very bad thunderstorm and they were lucky that the plane didn't actually crash. They skidded off the runway into the St. John's River. Um, this is uh, out just outside of Jacksonville, Florida. And the news reports first said that all the, cat, the crew and the passengers got out and there were no deaths. There were some minor injuries. However, later it came out that there were some pets that died, and that's the purpose of this video. Um, ever since I heard about this, it's, it really bothered me, and I'm sure it bothered anybody that loves animals. What I don't understand, and, and I have the utmost respect and admiration for our military, I really do. I'm the daughter of a, of a Korea War vet. Uh, military service is something that's prized in my family and most of the, my male family members that were of age during any time when uh, either during the draft or any time uh, that there was a war going on, most of them have served. Uh, so it, it really bothers me to even be having to make a video about this. But when I heard that the pets were in the cargo hold, and they ended up drowning because in only five feet of water this plane in other words landed in the river in what they call shallow water and i can i can sympathize with them wanting to try to do something about the jet fuel spilling in the water i understand that and i i'm not trying to discount how terrifying it must have been for the passengers and the crew i've been through very bad turbulence myself i have flown through thunderstorms myself. That's why I don't fly anymore. I don't like turbulence. I don't like the feeling of being out of control. It just, I find air flying, air, air travel personally very terrifying. And so I do everything I can to avoid it. But that said, why, I, I don't understand why you're going to have pets in cargo hold anyway, where you cannot, uh, when they don't have the temperature controlling and they don't have the oxygen available that you have in the passenger cabin and in these uh, military families they probably you know husbands and wives and kids and these are children's pets and i cannot begin to think of the anguish that these children are feeling and all this did not have to happen why do you have pets in cargo hold the whole purpose of this video is basically to encourage people, whether you're military watching me, whether you're civilians watching me, please, if you value your pets, if you value your dogs or your cats or whatever it is, there's got to be a way to not have them in the cargo hold. Now, I admit I'm not the most sophisticated person as far as what the current regulations for flying are, and I certainly don't know all the ins and outs of military transport and the rules and regulations that they have to uh, deal with. But it seems to me that if you are, and, and I know that military families, a lot of times they move around a lot, which is all the more reason why you want the stability of having your pets. And if you're going to have something that happens where it's a catastrophic event, where you're evacuating the people in your plane, and you know damn well that you've got animals that are living and breathing, and you're down below, and you can't tell me they couldn't have had a diver to go down in five feet of water. I mean, I, I don't understand why they knew, and I'm sure the kids were screaming, saying, what about Fluffy and Fido or whatever, and nobody went and got them, and what, it took two days, and then they said, oh, they're presumed dead. Well, gee, if something, because they said that they didn't see anything above the water line. Well, gee, if words stand to affect it, if you see nothing above the water line, it must be below the water line, and you can't get a diver, and you can't pull them out. They said that there were carriers, pet carriers there. Now, you leave some uh, pet carrier underwater for a couple of days. What the hell do you think is going to happen? And the, I, this has bothered me all day. All, all day I've been thinking about this. Um, now, if you noticed around my set here, I had a carrier, a pet carrier, 
that was originally was Ace the Cats. And uh, when I went to get Cassie out of the shelter, I got that ca carrier to get her out. Um, unfortunately, the reason why I don't have it out right now is I have to clean it up. Uh, either Tabby Boy or Cassie decided to use it as a litter box. Uh, I think it may have actually been Tabby Boy rebelling. But anyway, I still need to actually take it apart and do a good sterilizing cleaning. And believe it or not, so many things have been going on with the house. I really have not had time to do that. Uh, I'm also in the process of ordering another pet carrier so that I have one for Tabby Boy and I have one for Cassie because they still haven't gotten to the point yet where they can get along well enough that I could just shove them in a carrier. I mean, that big carrier is certainly full, uh, big enough for both of them, considering that even though he's like 25 pounds, she's like oh, five pounds and nothing. But, and they, they don't always, they still uh, oh, fight sort of. And so, but I do need to get her another carrier. But I'm telling you, if I was going to be traveling, I certainly would not be putting my pets in the cargo hold. Um, while I've got you guys' attention, there is something else I want to uh, mention. I don't know if this is legitimate or not, but I got an email from a company that purports to uh, fast track and get people approved to have their pets deemed uh, emotional support animals. Uh, and I'm sure it's a lot easier to get uh, your dog certified and get your cat certified, but if there would be any practical way for people to get their pet cats to be certified as support animals, then it would be so much easier to take your pets with you. You can certainly have them ride passenger. Some people can even have their pets ride passenger for free, which wouldn't that be great, especially if it's in a small enough carrier that you can have it on your lap so it wouldn't be taking another seat for another person. And then if it's small enough, can't you put it under your seat? Or there's different places where you can stow, uh, I'm sure, a small pet carrier within the confines of your cabin. And you know what would really be great is if you could take cats on the Greyhound bus. That way somebody like myself who doesn't choose to fly, who's afraid of flying, who's had enough experience that shows uh, me that I really don't like to be thrown around 30,000 feet uh, with the turbulence and everything. It just is a very terrifying experience for me and, and I don't choose to go through that again. Tabby boy, I hear you. You know, I probably better open up the door so that he doesn't decide to uh, use my floor as a litter box. Tabby boy. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you. So, in closing, uh, just please try to travel with your pets where you can see them at all times. Um, do your own research. Find out if you can get certification, uh, if that's what it's going to take to have your pets travel with you. If you have a dog, it's going to be easier. Uh, if you Certainly, if you have a disability, it would be easier to uh, pull this off. I don't know whether you have to, what kind of doctors you have to see and the kind of notes you have to see, but there are organizations that are supposed to help people get their pets certified. I'm looking into it myself, and if I find out that they're legitimate, then I will probably be doing a separate video about them, as well as letting my friends know on social media. Yeah, if you love your pets, don't put them in the cargo hold. You know, whenever, just like whenever a plane's getting ready to do a crash landing, supposedly they tell you not to take your stuff with you, and I would think if anything is important for you to have, it would be your dog or your cat. So don't put them down in cargo. It's cold there. It's not temperature controlled. It's not pressurized. Uh, and if something happens like what happened here, if there's a crash, if you're in the water, the pets are going to drown. If there's a fire and you can't take them out, they're going to burn up. So have them with you. Don't have them in cargo, please. If you love your pets, treat them like family. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. My cats and I would love to have you on our little adventures. I post video three times a week for your viewing pleasure. Till then, talk to you soon. Bye.